it's okay, my daughters are going to stand with me sure. <laughs> and offer their support for their mom. Um, do, do you want to introduce them? Introduce yes. us to them? Thank sure. you. Um, I'm, as you said, Hannah Grant Lusignan, and these are my daughters, Amelia, Natalie, Avery, and Noel. And <clears throat> we are in favor of House Bills H7170, 7282, 7313, 7611, 7760 and 7764. We are opposed to the House Bills 7444 and 7612. And before um, I was even able to watch any of this on the television that was provided downstairs, we were in the overflow, but we were not able to see uh, most of the testimonies that have been uh, spoken here. So before I was able to do that, I went into a room um, off to the side here. And unfortunately, I overheard a couple of reps. I don't know who they were. And I don't think it really matters so much who they were as much as it matters what they were saying right in front of myself and my daughters here, which were hemming and hawing about this being so redundant and here we go again, the abortion bills and rolling of the eyes. And I want to tell you, I'm really appalled at that, okay? Because at the very least, I would say that you need to have respect and you're representing uh, this state and the people in it. So I would just urge you, I am grateful to those who are listening and who are truly listening um, and to those persons who are saying that they've heard it all before. I would beg to differ. I don't know that you really have heard. Um, I certainly know that as a young woman, as a teenager, and having made the terrible choice of abortion, I was not listening. I was listening to the voices of people who were telling me actually lies, okay? You are, I'm sure, familiar with the mantras of it's a blob of tissue, it's a mass of cells, right? Yeah, I'm sure by this time it does sound redundant. It does sound like, oh, I've heard it all before. But does it ever ring in your ears that that is not true? That these are human beings? That we are all essentially, even now, a mass of cells. We're human beings. And when I made that decision, and I was listening to the voices who would have me believe, have me believe that to take the life of a human being, it was okay. It was going to make life better. That they were not really human beings that I wouldn't regret this, my life would be better. That was not what happened for me. I regretted it intensely and enormously because inside there was that still little small voice of truth that I could not deny that these were persons. I unfortunately was in a cycle of the same kind of behavior. Rather than practicing true reproductive rights, Right? I had self-control, right? I could have exercised that, but I did not. And I regret that tremendously because instead of practicing self-control, I was in a cycle of promiscuity and being used and using others as objects, which resulted in my becoming pregnant with a human being and taking the lives of those three human beings, which were the siblings sadly, of these young ladies here. And I want to teach them the truth. And I beg you, as representatives, to do the same for your children, for the persons around you. Tell the truth. I can't stop saying that. And I, I'll tell you, redundant or not, I will not stop saying the truth. There's enough information now that there is no claim to ignorance about what we're talking about. You can use all the kinds of language that you want to make it sound good. But remember, they're listening. And would you have them be irresponsible, be used, and then discard another human being as though they're not human beings? 
I mean, what do we teach them in our own history about civil rights? Hmm? About the Holocaust, slavery, what do we teach them? These are human beings. Are the pre-born not human beings? This is why I urge you to support those bills that are pro-human being. Please, I beg you, I urge you to once and for all acknowledge that we are talking about human beings. And those of us who do care and certainly are forgiving and merciful, how could I be anything but that? I've, I've committed this grave sin. I'm sorry for that. But please, exercise what is truly right. Tell the truth. Stop this nonsense of lying and manipulation of words. We all know what we're talking about, especially those of you who are supposed to be very well educated. I mean, have you been educated into imbecility? I mean, it's utterly insane. Please think about this. Please. And consider that these are four women, right? The women of the future. To the woman who spoke about the National Organization of Women, I have my own, my own family of women who I would like to teach the truth. And I would ask you to stop promoting lies and stop saying that every human being doesn't have dignity. Let's not be selective about that. Let's be truthful. Every person has human dignity. Thank you very much for listening to me.